back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If it's not, welcome back. Um, here, okay, let's back, let's back up a little bit. Here I have Ryan and Rachel. Um, if you don't know me, Ryan and Rachel are my twin babies, boy and girl. Duh. So I decided today, since we were sitting here, I, <laughs> this is a great idea. <laughs> this is a great idea. This was not a good idea. Yeah. My makeup looks really, really gray. Ooh, okay. Anyway, yeah, that, that's not gonna work. Ooh, very gray. Ooh. Ryan's gone. We're gonna be doing a team month update for the twins. Now that you're thinking like, okay, where is month one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, do 15. Um, I don't have them because I wasn't on YouTube at that time. Funny thing was, I did want to start and document my pregnancy. That's where the YouTube light bulb first went off for me. But there's a whole lot going on. I was like, YouTube too. And I was like, really, like, I don't know. I just wasn't comfortable front of the camera at that time. So I was like, I don't want to do it. So I didn't do it. Anyway, so I wanted to. What was I doing? Yeah, I wanted to do a um, 15 month update for the twin. So. Ryan's back. Hey. Okay. So, like I said, um, they're 15. Actually, they're 16 months. So I'm cheating a little bit. Um, so I wanted to just tell you some differences. I know, um, personally for me, when I was pregnant with um my twins, I always like Google things to expect and wanted to know the differences and what to expect. So hopefully this will help somebody out there that's pregnant with twins or about to have um. 15 month old twins and show you what to expect. Daddy. Number one, expect this. Like, they are all over the place. Like, they climb, they run. Daddy. Ryan's running now. Um, yeah, they're in everything. So, let's start with what they like to eat. Um, they are both still nursing, but they only nurse once during the day around nap time, and then they nurse before bed. Um, and then they are still waking up in the middle of the night to nurse also, but that's my fault. But we'll talk about that later. All right, solid foods, what they eat is, um... Do not bite me. Ryan likes to bite. Yeah. <laughs> Food. Um, they love fruit. They um, love avocados. They love bananas. They love um, raspberries. I looked over because every time I say bananas, like, you like bananas? Yeah. Um, and they run over. So anyway, yes, they love bananas and blueberries and raspberries. Um, and blackberries. Um, funny thing is my older children, I never fed them fruits like that. Um, I don't know. You just know more and you have more resources and you just do better. So, they love fruit. Fruit is their, fruit is their first choice of what to eat. If, okay, so in the morning they'll usually have a fruit and some toast. They love to feed themselves. Or Cheerios. So, like, if I make them oatmeal or cream of wheat, they will eat it, but they don't like to be fed. And I am not ready for them to be, like, I know I need to introduce spoons to them and things like that, but it's a lot of mess, especially with two of them. So they would rather do finger foods than me sit there with a spoon and feed them. So right now they're not eating things that I have to feed them. Lunchtime is usually some toast. Sorry, lunchtime is usually some toast. Um, again, fruit. <laughs> Um, pasta, things they can pick up with their hands. They love pasta. They'll eat like um, carrots and um, they like beans. I can make them that. eggs. Eggs also goes in breakfast. Um, it doesn't know what time of day. And then dinner. Lately, I'm trying to get them to just eat what everyone else is eating lately. But um, depending on how hungry they are and if they can't wait for dinner, they will eat the same thing a vegetable noodle things like that oh so, yeah that's what they're eating right now drinking like i said they are still nursing but they are drinking cold milk which i was very against in the beginning um they don't really care for so sometimes i have to throw chocolate in there and i know that's like womp, womp, womp. yeah this was totally smart but I assumed I would do the video with them because, like I said, like, they don't know them. So it's like, who is she talking about? But he's like, he's not here for it. He doesn't know what he wants in life, okay? Like I was saying, the drink. Yes, they drink milk and they drink juice. Now, what I do with their juice is I put water in it, wata, in their juice so they're not drinking a bunch of cups a day when they're in Florida and they get hot very, very fast. Okay, now let's move on to mannerisms since they're hitting each other. Um, Rachel, 
Right on time, girl. Rachel is very, she doesn't really, she likes strange, yes, she doesn't like strangers, but she's a very friendly once you get to know her. She can be, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so you can be bossy, I guess, hey, she can be bossy at times, but she she has been known to be a bully to her brother, but I just feel like she's just assertive. Okay. Right? Hey, hey, Rachel. Right? <laughs> yes, but she's always with me. She always wants to be picked up. If Ryan's over with me, she wants to come over. She needs all the attention. And she pushes him out of the way. Um, she pushes him off toy. She does not like to share with her brother at all. But in um yesterday I actually caught okay. Hey, that's what you want? Bubbles. Um, I actually caught her going, Come on, come here, come here. They were trying to go to the back and she they're like she wanted him to come with her. Her him to come with her, yeah. But he didn't want to go. So, yeah, she, out of the two of them, she is more bossy. She's always, like, washed his hair. She's always, she seems to be, like, very, like, she's, like, the caretaker of the two. So, yeah. Ryan, on the other hand, sorry, Ryan, on the other hand, okay, Ryan, on the other hand, he's very laid back. He smiles. He has been known to be called the flirt. Um, he's been called that since day one. He, like, that's just who he is. He's very friendly. He loves hugs. He loves to play. He loves hugs. Affection. That's just what he does. That's who he is. Not does they both don't cry, but at this stage, I've talked about this before where I feel like now they want to communicate words more and when they can't get them on get across what they want to say to you, they will start to cry. And it's now it's a cry that cannot be like they're fighting over bubbles right now. See? Okay, so Ryan had bubbles and Rachel came and took them from him. And that's what she does. She just takes things from him all the time. Let's blow some bubbles. Let's you want to blow some bubbles? Look at that. Let's blow the bubbles. They both say mama. Rachel actually started to babble before Ryan. Ryan just started babbling, but once he did, he like doesn't stop. He talks or babbles when he actually has something to say. Whereas Rachel talks all the time she just likes to talk they say women are like that but realistically i'm not a talker i think like i'm just not you know like all women are not the same there we go so anyway the sleeping through the night thing now they do not sleep through the night um but oh my gosh here we go brian and rachel both sleep with me okay they both sleep in the bed no mommy shaming here in my comments Please, seriously. I mean, constructive criticism, I take it all day. If you have any suggestions on how to, you know, change that, I'm down with that. But I will not. I cannot take the mommy shaming up in my comments. No, seriously. I don't do mommy shaming to anyone. But seriously, if you have any suggestions on how to stop that, please let me know. Because I, I do like sleeping with my babies, but... Yeah, Raven, let's film a video with the babies awake. That's going to be really, really smart. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, it's about them. So, this is what you get up in here. And this is just two of them, y'all. I have six of them. I have six kids. Six of them. And when they come home, it's like, Dad, you can't hear nothing. You cannot hear your thoughts. You can't hear anything. Okay? I mean, they don't sleep through the night, but I really feel like that's because they sleep with me. Any suggestions, I am down for them. I, there was a reason I was telling you that, and I don't remember why, because now they're screaming and stuff. Um, they, I mean, regular babies, they love pots and pans. They go in the cabinet, they get the pots out, they love to bang the pots and pans. They now know how to unscrew things like this, so they will open this. Like, they really will open it. Um, child proof, don't believe it, because they can open those too. Um, I was actually asked the other day, is it easy, easier having twins than having one? I looked at her like she had two heads. I was like, oh. I didn't understand where that question came from. But realistically, I love having the twins. Um, the greatest joy is seeing how different 
they are in personality is where Rachel loves to climb Ryan loves to run you also learn milestones differently don't compare your babies to other babies because like Ryan and Rachel are night and day. They do things at different time frames. Ryan got his teeth, four teeth, boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. And then stop. Rachel was teething forever and didn't get a tooth until she was almost one years old. And now she has more teeth in her mouth than Ryan. So therefore, don't compare your babies to any other body else's babies. Use other people's videos as guidelines and what they tell you. You know, there's no textbook to babies. There's no textbook to twins. You can use it as a guide. I always say take what you want. He's just throwing the pan on the floor. Like, yep, just throw the pan on the floor, Ryan. Just keep throwing it on the floor, Ryan. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to end this video right here. This is going to be their 15-month update. I will be back for a, I want to say, 18-month update. How much do they weigh? Duh, Raven. When I want to get the bubbles. Yeah, I'm not smarter. Not fun at all. From a video. Yeah. Anyway, um, Rachel is one inch taller than Ryan. Ryan is one pound heavier than Rachel at a whopping 22 pounds, and Rachel's 21 at their last weigh-in. Um, of course, that was at their 15 month checkup, and they're now 16 months. So. Yeah, um, I'm going to be doing another update of them and their, you know, development. I think it's actually, at the end of the day, I would love to help another mom. But also, it's good for me to go back and look back on it and all that jazz. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope I, I don't know, helped you a little bit. If you have any questions for me, um, leave them down in the comments below. Go check out my Instagram. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you want. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And it's chaos. Yeah. I call my life a constructive chaos. Chaotic. It's, it's chaos, but I love it. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to go blow some bubbles with these babies. And have a great day. Bye. Say <gasps> bye. Thank you for my bubbles, woman.